Today, I'll show you how turning biomass residues into biochar closes the loop, fights climate change, and even regenerates soil. Let's dive in. 1. What is biochar? Biochar is a stable form of carbon, created by heating organic materials like wood chips or agricultural residues in the absence of oxygen. This process is called pyrolysis. The result? A light, black material, similar to charcoal, that doesn't rot, doesn't emit carbon dioxide, and can stay in the ground for centuries. But the real magic? It's not just a product, it's a system solution. 2. Biochar and the circular economy. The circular economy is about designing out waste and keeping resources in use. Biochar does exactly that. It uses local biomass residues from farms, forests, even food industries. Instead of letting them decompose and release methane or CO2, we convert them into something useful and climate positive. The energy released during pyrolysis can be captured as heat or electricity. That means clean energy while locking away carbon. The biochar itself can be used in soil, improving water retention, increasing nutrient efficiency, and reducing the need for chemical fertilizers. So in one single loop, we use residues, produce renewable energy, create a long-term carbon sink, improve food production, that's circularity in action. Three, real world use cases. Let's look at how this works in real life. In agriculture, biochar helps rebuild degraded soils, especially in areas hit by drought. Farmers mix biochar into compost or slurry. The result, crops grow better, yields improve, fertilizer use goes down. In urban areas, biochar can filter wastewater and stormwater, capturing heavy metals and pollutants. Once it's done its job, it can still be returned to the soil. And in construction, innovators are blending biochar into building materials like concrete or bricks to reduce emissions and store carbon in buildings, closing the loop. 